everyone, it's Cindy, Cindy Davis, the Feel Good Coach, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the white section of my book collection. I grabbed all my books, I got them off the shelf, and I've been working through them all in this all, all, all in this book series. So I'm really looking forward to sharing the white ones with you. This one's got a few personal sort of stories in there as well, so it's a bit longer, but bear with me. You can always fast forward through those, those bits if you don't want to watch them. So um, if you want to know a little bit about the books that I've got in my collection that are white and what those personal stories might be, then just keep watching. Here we are with the white section of books from my bookshelf and we're nearly at the end now, white and then black and then we're all done. So if you've been with me for the long haul, really well done for staying with me and uh, thank you so much for joining me again for this video. So we're going to start right at this end with The Art of Meditation by Matthew Ricard. Um, this book's lovely, um, it does have tea stains on it it looks like, but uh, this is a lovely book, it's really beautiful to look at, it's a nice size, it's, it's quite small, I don't know if you can see, um, but it's full of lovely tips from how to meditate. Meditation is my number one feel good tip, I've actually got um, uh, a video, just a very short instructional video um, that I can link below, which also will um, take you to my ebook, which is free. You can have that, and that is called um, How uh, Five Steps to Meditation for People Who Can't Meditate. Because I had this book and I read it, thought it was brilliant, and I couldn't meditate. <laughs> I just couldn't. I would sit down to um, relax my mind and all that stuff, and I would just be filled with thoughts one after another and I just couldn't cope with it I didn't get it I knew it was supposed to be really good but I just didn't understand it it just didn't seem to work for me um, and then I found a way that did work for me I wrote my ebook and um, which I'll also leave a link for to, uh, below and um, explaining how I found a way around it and it's worked for me and several, you know lots of people who've read it have told me that they've never been able to meditate and then as a result of reading it, they've got into it. So if you're interested in that, do check out the link below. And um, But this book is lovely. If you want a nice, um, gentle book about meditation, it's got lots of different kinds of meditation for you to try. Um, and it just and it's just a beautiful hardback book with beautiful colours. So. so yeah, if you if you want to find that, I will put the links below for all of these books or all the ones I can find um, in the description box. So then we're going to move on to this. This is a very popular book, maybe the end of 2015 going into 2016. It was like a massive bestseller and I think it's still very, very popular. The Life Changing Magic of Tidying by Marie Kondo. Now, I don't know if you've heard of this. But this is that Japanese method of decluttering, which is um, really, really powerful, actually. Um, so I went through the process on my clothes. Um, I haven't applied it to my books yet, hence why I've got a number of books that I might never read again um, and uh, also books that um, I haven't read yet, uh, which if you read the book you'll find out that that is completely wrong, but you know, rules are there to be broken in my mind and so I have my books and I like them, so there. <laughs> but I did use it to um, tidy my clothes and my um, uh, my drawers and everything and it really did make such a difference because what's happened is um, well, I'll rewind what you do is you um, Pick up something that you want to declutter and instead of deciding what to throw away You're actually deciding what to keep so you pick something up in your hand um, And you see if or you feel if you get a spark of joy or happiness or something or love when you're holding it and if you don't have that reaction then you get rid of it so you end up with only things that fill you with joy. Now, being realistic, applying that to my knicker drawer wasn't really, you know, it can't be every single pair of knickers and bra that you own is gonna be, you know, bring you joy. Um, I, I, I don't think, and like, you know, every single t-shirt and pair of jeans doesn't give me joy. But what I have got is a selection of clothes that I like wearing that uh, I think look good on me and that are pretty colours because I like colours as we've already discussed and um, that I want to have around and all the rest of it is gone it's just gone 
and it made the decluttering process so much easier. Also, the folding method that um, Marie teaches and that I've done with my clothes means that my t-shirts and, and everything and my scarves are all kind of I'll try and insert a photo of my drawer that I've got knocking around somewhere when I first did it um, and how tidy it looks and I kept it like that um, except there's a load of clothes in the wash so it won't look quite as effective if I show you what it looks like right now. But what's brilliant about it is they're all sort of filed like this so I can just reach in and grab what I need and when I'm packing um, I can just grab a chunk out of my drawer and shove it straight in my case and then get it out the other end and shove it back in the drawer so it's absolutely brilliant um, and uh, all my co clothes are colour coded just like my bookshelf so they all go through the colours of the rainbow and it makes me happy when I look in my drawer so if you're wanting to declutter and you want to try a different way um, then definitely read this book and apply whatever works from it for you uh, to your life and see how you can experience the life-changing magic of tidying. So moving on, blink, the power of thinking without thinking. I'll be straight up front with you, I can't remember what this book is about. <laughs> I literally can't remember. I bought this and another Malcolm Gladwell book, but I can't see it here so I don't know what I've done with it. Who knows? No, no idea. So I bought another one called Outliers I think. Um, which was a really interesting read and so I bought this as a result and I have read it or I've read some of it I'm, for the life of me I can't think what it's about so let me just read the back um, okay this book is all about those moments when we know something without knowing why here Malcolm Gladwell explores the phenomenon of blink showing how a snap judgment can be far more effective than a cautious decision by trusting your instincts he reveals you'll never be thinking about you'll never think about thinking in the same way again ah Okay, so I'm on board now. Sorry about that. I am with the programme. This book is about, you know, that gut instinct snap decision that you make and it turns out to be the right thing. Um, this is very much linked with the embraining that I do where we're talking about the head, the heart and the gut brain. This would be the gut brain coming into play, our gut instinct. So I will give that another read because I've clearly forgotten everything I read. And uh, probably now that I've done embraining, it will have a lot more uh, interest for me. So I will definitely be reading that but I will find a link and put that down below for you. Stop Talking Start Doing, another great book. So as you can tell I used to suffer from procrastination and I still do, hands up, I still do. From time to time procrastinate um, and we all do. So this is a really good book about um, stop, stop talking and start doing. So stop saying I'm going to write a book and start doing it. Now one of the ways that I um, have managed to overcome not writing my book <laughs> was to actually from reading the miracle morning was to build in um 30 minutes every single day to write and when i did that um, my book got written and i actually wrote it in 30 minute chunks so um that's one of the tips so if you look back to the blue section you'll see there the miracle morning and my quick review of it there um but really it's about just building time in every day to do that kind of thing um if you're looking at writing a book but there's lots of other tips in here this is this is very much a kick in the pants in six parts as it says on the front there's lots of straight talking and um, getting you to do stuff so this is a good book if you ever procrastinate I do recommend it and I will link it below oh, the 60 second motivator this is like um, there's like a book called I think the one 60 second coach or the one minute coach or something which is probably under my bed I'm not sure this is how to motivate yourself to do anything this is really good um, from what I remember it's a while ago I read it it's really really thin you can see that so you can read it quickly and get yourself motivated it is another kick in the pants you can tell I've needed a kick in the pants a few times so um, this is a good one this book here is by my lovely friend Carrie Rose. She is based uh, just in Sirencester or thereabouts. Um, and uh, she is a life coach who works with midlife women. So uh, this is her book, How to Get From Here to There Without Going Anywhere, uh, A Simple Guide to Living a Happier Life. So this is kind of a coach in a book. You can work through this book and you can get some change going in your life and really improve things for yourself uh, just by following what Carrie recommends in this book. I love Carrie. You can find her on social media and stuff. And she uh, is a really good coach. I think you can usually get it if you see her at a show or something. There's usually a special deal on, or I'm sure it's available on Amazon. If it is, I will put the link below. 
This um, is a book I picked up back when I was uh, working as a trainer. Really, really good if you are doing training. It's a great way of um, introducing accelerated learning into your training. It's all about um, reducing the time it takes for people to learn, making learning much more experiential and um, putting things into practice and um, reviewing it all and everything. So it's really good. It's got um, uh, each section here um, with literally template for you to kind of work to fill in your content, what the learning is, um, helps you to come up with exercises and things that people can do to really get that experiential learning. So if you're a trainer or you want to offer really good workshops, then this is a good book and I definitely recommend it. I've got the hardback copy. I'm not sure if there is a, a soft copy. I'll have a look on Amazon and get the link for you. Put it down below if it's on there. So yeah, recommend that. And finally in the white books, I've got this book which I love. And this was another reason why I wrote my book. Now I kept saying, oh, one day I'm gonna write a book. This is one of the things that prompted me as well as uh, reading The Miracle Morning and helping me fit the time in. This book is about how Brendan Bouchard um, had a massive life-changing experience, a bolt from the blue kind of thing, um, suddenly saw the light, realised what was important in life and um, wrote a book about it to get that message out to people so that they could also really experience what was so important in life. And then he wrote this book about how he wrote a book. <laughs> the book's about, you know, everyone's got a message inside them that could help other people and um, improve the world really because if you improve one person's life you've improved the world in a small way and so this but this book um, if you're ever thinking about writing a book or you think you might have a book in you I highly recommend you read this um, it might inspire you to get started and he gives some great tips on how to um, develop it get it out there um, and uh, move forward with you know getting your message out there to people so yes, definitely recommend this. Also, Brendan's got a great website, a blog with loads of tips on there about productivity, marketing and things like that. So definitely check out Brendan Bouchard. Really like him. He's got loads of energy and um, really snappy and um, cheery. So if you like that kind of thing, go and check him out. So that's the end of the white books. Thank you so much for watching. Just one more to go. We're gonna do the black section of my bookcase and um, then we will start on the Kindle books which will take about a million years. So thanks for watching. So that's it for my white books, that's all the way through my collection. We've only got one tiny little section to go, the black books. So I'm really looking forward to sharing those with you in the next video. I will put a link for it um, just up here so you'll be able to access it really easily. If you like this video please do give it a big thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this. And I have loads of other videos too, I'm posting regularly now. I've got some 60 second videos that are really quick tips how to and also some bigger masterclasses. So if you want to find out about all of that stuff, take a look around my channel and please subscribe. So I look forward to speaking to you really, really soon and have a fabulous day.